Welcome back everyone, today we're diving into some really intriguing insights shared by Sandy Monroe in his recent video about the future of electric vehicles (EVs). Sandy brings up some points that are not only fascinating but also crucial for anyone interested in the automotive industry. Let's unpack what he said and explore the implications. Okay, so everybody now is jumping on this bandwagon, hey we gotta get rid of um we got to get rid of autopilot or self-driving because look mm -hmm. at that two guys i don't even know how they did it we tried to reproduce that here couldn't do it in fact that we agree with sandy here calling it self-driving can be misleading because as he points out it still requires driver supervision what do you all think is autopilot a better term let me know in the comments now sandy also highlights some impressive safety statistics about tesla's autopilot he emphasizes that it's significantly safer than human driving. Okay. First, let's talk about China and its potential domination of the EV market. Sandy raises an important and somewhat alarming point about how quickly Chinese automakers are improving the quality of their vehicles. He notes that Chinese cars, which were once considered inferior in terms of quality, have now significantly closed the gap. This quality improvement is not just in traditional vehicles, but particularly in electric vehicles. Sandy highlights that Chinese companies are laser-focused on the EV market. They are not just participating. They are investing heavily in technology, innovation, and manufacturing processes specifically tailored to EVs. This dedication is putting them in a prime position to dominate the global market in the near future. Now, why is this significant? Well, if American car companies don't adapt quickly, they risk falling behind. It's not just about making EVs, it's about making them efficiently and at a high quality. The competitive edge that Chinese automakers are developing could potentially shift the balance of power in the automotive industry. Sandy's caution is clear. American companies need to recognize this shift and accelerate their efforts in EV development. Otherwise, they could lose a substantial share of the market to these emerging Chinese giants. Moving on, Sandy also delves into the potential of Tesla's Cybertruck, particularly focusing on the material choice and its cost-saving benefits. This is another area where Sandy's insights are quite enlightening. Tesla's decision to use stainless steel for the Cybertruck is unconventional. Most vehicles use traditional steel or aluminum, but stainless steel offers some unique advantages. Sandy explains that stainless steel is not only incredibly durable, but also reduces the need for paint and additional coatings, which are standard in other vehicles. This choice could lead to significant cost savings in the production process. Now, let's consider the broader implications. As battery prices continue to drop and eventually reach parity with the costs of gas-powered cars, these manufacturing efficiencies will become even more critical. The cost savings from using stainless steel could give Tesla a substantial advantage in the market, allowing them to offer competitive pricing while maintaining their profit margins. Sandy points out that this could be a game changer for the industry. As more consumers shift towards EVs, the ability to produce high-quality, cost-effective vehicles will determine which companies thrive and which ones struggle.